Have you ever walked down the street and caught yourself judging somebody for not being into personal development, for not doing spiritual practice, for not having done psychedelics? Yeah, me too. I think we've all been there. I think it's a common phenomenon for people on the spiritual path, for people developing themselves and for people diving deep into psychedelic experiences to judge other people. And in this video, I want to talk about why this judgment is one of the biggest traps that we have on our spiritual path. I want to talk about the full circle of personal development, of, of spiritual work, of psychedelic work. And at the end, I'm going to talk about what we can do to heal this sense of judgment and move towards the completion of this cycle. To, to embody the actual true core of what we're moving towards with our spiritual work, with our personal development and with our psychedelic practice. Hey, I'm Vergo and this is Psychedelic Actualization. On this channel we talk about topics like self-realization, self-actualization, working with psychedelics to live a more authentic and fulfilling life. I want to start this video with a story of mine, because a long, long, long time of my own journey, I was not aware of this trap. I was not aware of this judgment. And it's all started when I got into personal development. I got into personal development through some YouTube videos. I discovered psychedelics and I took them by myself and kind of got into this world of spirituality and I was like, this is the most important thing for me. Like, I cannot imagine doing anything else but just to dig deep and get to the raw core of who I am. Go for awakening, go for enlightenment, develop all the habits I want to develop and take the psychedelics and, and integrate the insights and explore this space a little bit deeper. And at the same time, I got into my first relationship when I was 16. And it was interesting to see both of the, those dynamics play out because being in your first relationship, that's exciting. Like that's something you might want to invest your time and awareness into, but not for me. Because as I said, I was way more passionate about this path of personal development, this path of spirituality. And it was such a big world that opened up for me that I was investing everything into it. I was doing challenges to integrate the habits into my life and forcing myself to be vegan all of a sudden, stop watching uh, YouTube videos, stop playing video games, stop smoking weed for too much. A and at the same time, meditate an hour a day. And all of this stuff had an impact on the relationship, but not a positive one as you might expect, but it had a negative impact on the relationship. It was also because some interests were, were divided, but also now looking back on this experience of my first relationship, I think a big part of it, why it didn't work out in the end, was my responsibility for me not taking responsibility to invest into that relationship to actually be present with my partner, to give her the love she deserved. And this is the trick. This is the trick and it has been very obvious in my first relationship, but I was not aware of it. Because as I went, we broke up after, I think three years, two, three years, and went different ways. And as I got deeper into my spiritual practice and I developed my understanding of what this work is all about, and what integration, psychedelic integration really means. I just had the insight along my path of like, holy cow, I was, I was judging her for not coming along on this journey, for not having as strong as a desire as I had for getting to the raw, raw cool root of spirituality. And this judgment was very toxic and poisonous. And then as I went along the circle of personal development and I integrated my psychedelic experiences and my spiritual insights further, I realized all of a sudden, wow, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is what it's about. 
It is about not judging people. It is about developing this loving kindness, this compassion for other people. It is actually, it is about fully being present in each moment and meeting it with all the love you have and put your all into each moment that you are facing. And if that is a moment with your partner, then be fully there for your partner and not judge them for not being as invested as you in the personal development and not neglect time with them because you have got to do your 10 hours of spiritual practice. If that is the case, that is fine. But then to communicate that and come to a, to a ground of understanding for both parties is such an important thing. And that's also, there's nuances and complex complexity in, in all of this, but there was not enough communication from my side as well. But the point I'm making is this judgment and this investment in the personal development was actually, the end point of it is to be fully present and fully there for each situation. But my desire and my passion to grab more and learn more and do more and build more habits and do more psychedelics alone was actually having a negative impact on fully being present for this person. And then also now lately, um, as the years went along, I have noticed as I became more aware and tried to integrate this compassion towards humanity a little bit more, I guess every single one of us has this subtle awareness of judgment. I don't know how it is for you, but when I go outside into the street and I observe people, sometimes I do have to admit to myself that it is that there is kind of an underlying automatic mechanism sometimes of me judging people. And it's, it is kind of feeling for them as well. This is what I'm trying to transform it into, to, to feel into their situation and to, to just meet them where they're at and love them as they are right now. But sometimes I notice this subtle judgment of, of oh wow, they, they just don't know. And is, it is kind of this little bit of thinking I am superior because I have had the psychedelic experiences. I have done the spiritual practice. I have read the books. I have done, I'm doing the habits. You see, this is the trap. This is a trap of like putting yourself above anybody else or anything else. Because it, they're all perfect as they are. Everything is perfect as it just is. And there's no, no right for us to judge what is present in creation. But our job is to meet it with as much love, unconditional, infinite love, as we can integrate into our be being. In psychedelic work, this is known as a part of it is ego inflation. We are inflating our ego and our ego is kind of thinking it is superior or better than all of the other people. But this is the trap. This judgment is the trap. And the way we can heal this judgment is by curiosity. By honest, authentic curiosity, we can tap into a more loving space. Because as I said in a, another video, there is a direct correlation to our level of true awareness, to our level of judgment. The more we judge, the less aware we are. And the less judgment there is, the more we are truly aware. And also truly loving. And through an authentic, honest curiosity that we can develop as a trait in our, our being, we can meet life with a sense of curiosity. And when there's curiosity, there cannot be judgment. We cannot be authentically curious about something or someone while at the same time heavily judging them. So this is the practice. When you meet somebody and you notice yourself, you catch yourself judging them automatically or putting yourself above somebody else because you are more spiritual, because you are more developed, because you have more psychedelic experiences then catch yourself in that situation and transform it and develop and practice this trait of authentic curiosity. And from this authentic curiosity, when we try to feel into the other, there is a, for me at least, there's a compassion that arises. 
there is an understanding that automatically arises. And then the most loving thing I can do and that I found is to meet them where they are, to be fully present and there for, for every situation of life and meet it lovingly with compassion and kindness. And this is the whole point. This is the whole insight I have gained from my psychedelic experiences, from the spiritual texts, from, from the traditions, from the teachings, from the self-actualization. This is the whole circle. And it came when it's coming from full circle. We are right where we started, but we see it differently. We are not invested in the spiritual practice too much. We're still doing it, but when we are outside, when we're in life, we are meeting life as it is, without any judgment. And this is the biggest trap of, or one of the biggest traps of the spiritual path, of the psychedelic path. The sense of ego inflation, of thinking you're better than or higher or more developed than anything else. Because there is a sense of beauty in all of us. There's a sense of perfection, as Mr. Beige said, in the process of in ever incomplete becoming. And this is, the, this is the core insight that I am trying to integrate. And this is the psychedelic integration. By the way, if you're interested in psychedelic integration, a wonderful way I found to integrate spiritual insights, personal development insights into your life and kind of see your life transform is coaching. I've been getting into coaching. I'm getting trained as a coach at the moment and I am coaching other people and I've seen some very beautiful transformations. So if you're curious about that, then you can book a free one-on-one -on -one conversation and we can have a chat about what coaching is and isn't and how it might help you on your journey of psychedelic integration or of spiritual integration. So thank you very much for watching. This is all that I wanted to share in this video today. Much love, many blessings. Remember this trap of judgment and remember the circle of personal development and that you can develop this trait of authentic curiosity from which a natural compassion springs forth so we can live in love. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Much love.